Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be doing a chameleon and animal drawing. So I'm on a landscape orientation page. Use a pencil and hit pause if I go too fast. So, so we're going to start up in the left hand side with that chameleon's eye. Okay, so we basically start with a small circle. Right, like that and then there's another circle inside which is like the black of his eye that's like peeping out from the hole inside there and you can leave a shine like a white circle and you can color this black okay so then around that so we got like a bigger circle going around his eye, right? So if you'd like a compass, you could like put it in the middle and draw a circle around it. Or if you have like a circular object that's big enough, you can use that. If not, you can freehand it. So we're just doing like a big circle. And it can be a bumpy line. It doesn't have to be perfect because he's kind of a scaly creature anyway. So don't worry too much if your line, your circle isn't perfect. Right, like this. And then inside there, we got like some more circles and lines inside so it goes around and they get smaller and smaller as we go in towards the center of the eye And you know, sometimes he, he can have some sort of scaly sort of bumps and things. Circles like this, going around the eye. But you don't have to do too much of that. You could just, you could, you could do the whole thing in those dots if you wanted, but it's not really necessary. You don't really have to. So, now we'll do we'll do his mouth right so just right out here underneath his eye we have a pretty straight line for his mouth so it's gonna go right across right so it goes across like that and then we'll bring it down he sort of has downturned mouth just there it already looks like a chameleon <laughs> that's interesting that's, that's you'd know straight away that that was a chameleon that's so cool Right, so that's his mouth and then his lips, right? So his lips have all these bumps on them. So these sorts of things going across like this. Top and bottom lip. And here at the back, there seems to be like a, a little bit more of them, like just sort of gathered together back here, these sort of diamond shapes, kind of textures, like that. And same thing on his bottom lip. Like so. So then, like the main structure for his face. So we got like a line that'll come down like this way. for his neck sort of area. And this kind of bumps it a little bit down here, right? So it's like all the way from his, his top lip. 
and then he has a bit of a jawline so like this like comes across here like that and this is going to go up around like the side of his mouth like up this way this this will actually keep going all the way up to there And he can have like another sort of fold line with some, you know, some scales like for the back of his head. And you can just add these sort of textures every now and then in various places. You could do it all over if you wanted, but I'll leave that up to you. I won't have time to do it. he has lots of scales all over his body like so okay so then the other side so top his top lip will curve like so that and then his nose kind of sticks out here, so sort of like maybe, yeah, kind of like sticks out like there. And he has a, a nostril, say, in here somewhere, like in between his eye and the front of his nose. So I'm going to put it. We'll put like a shadow inside. Okay. And then he's got this ridge that runs up along the top of his head and all the way to the back, right? From from the top of his nose. So like here. And it, it can be a bumpy line and we'll add some scales and bumps and things to them as well. So it kind of goes up around his eye. this and it eventually goes around the back of his head as well like back this way and it like doubles up around the back down to there kind of and then this keeps going up around the back of his head. Like so. Oops, that and that goes up yeah, to here. And then, then it has like all these bumps and ridges and stuff on it, right? So. that and then it kind of comes back underneath this way up towards the eye so there's like a couple of scales here as much of this as you'd like. Uh, 
Yeah, I might add a couple of extra just down here as well. And maybe like some lines around his eyes. Like so. And again, some texture scales every now and then. And then he's got a ridge here as well. So like bumping sort of line going up around his head, around the back here as well. And this has all sort of scales and bumps and stuff on it as well. And right then the back of his head, so it's going to come out from here and go up and around back down to about there. And this has like another layer inside as well with more scales and bumps and stuff. So, um, and could be some like wrinkle lines and stuff on his neck. Like this, right? So then, the main part of his neck and his back. So we go back down this way. So we're really out real far. And then we'll bring this all the way as far as we can. Right, real curving back like so. And then at the front here, so he's got uh, his arm, so we got like a curved line just here for his arm and his elbow. Like that. And this kind of curves back around, like all the way around there. And then the other side of his arm, just there. And he's got these sort of spiral kind of lines here and like another line for what looks to be his like spine or something coming around this way. Kind of a light sort of line broken just to indicate his spine going down that way. So then the rest of his arm, I guess. So it goes around like so. And then we'll go this way. Come off up to here somewhere. And then the other part of his forearm. small little arm like that. He's got no real wrist to speak of. It's just sort of kind of bumping kind of phone lines just there where his wrist would be. And then his finger comes up to a little claw just there. He's got three fingers, so this one comes out here. Back down into there. 
there. This one's slightly bigger. The middle one seems to be the bigger, biggest one, just there. And then it, this one sticks out here as well. It comes down then. And like that. And this, these could be nails. There is no, I can't see a nail on it. It's mostly scales, but we'll add a nail just so we can distinguish between scales and nails. And again, you can add sort of certain spots and things on them. And then the underside of his belly comes down from his hands. So it comes down here. Like that. And he's like, he's on a stick. He's holding onto a stick. So the stick like comes down from his neck, just here. And this could have like texture lines on it. So then we've got like spikes on his belly and on his back. Like so. And all oh, coming down his back as well. Kind of like that. So they're kind of bigger up here and they gradually get like a little bit smaller as we go down. And um, we can see like him holding on. So like there's like a toe just here. Holding on to the stick. Just there. Just not much. You can see like another one here. As the rest goes down off my page. And he's got some spikes along the bottom of his neck here as well. So. Like this and as much scales as you want he does he can have he seems to have like a line of spots that kind of goes down his back kind of down this way it's kind of in a line like so and then like some patterns different colors sort of going up around his back around like like here, they look, depending on his camouflage, they look like red or green, blue, so like loads of these going up around. And you can color these whatever color you wanted if you were coloring. And you could shade it a darker pencil shade if you're shading. Or you could just leave it black and white, you know. Do, 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 do. And one more, I'll give you one more just down here. one or two on his arms. And maybe 
maybe some scales around his eyes. Of course, you could add these scales all the live long day. You know, there is no end to them, really. So, uh, maybe someone is buggy. Put someone on his body. Just like some texture. Just to make him look a little bit scaly. I can do anyway. But as usual, I could keep drawing for hours and this video would be crazy long. I'm just gonna like thicken up some of the edge, some of the outside lines. Just make it stand out a little bit more. It's a, it's a good trick if you're drawing, especially with ink. And you can like thicken up some of the outer edges. It makes it stand out just a little bit more. Okay, but I think that's the best I can do. How to draw a chameleon. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.